natural market and we're gonna get some ingredients for our recipe today. We're getting some quinoa here at the bulk section. Mm -hmm. Get some dried cranberries. I love to get a bunch of fresh produce. This is Kate with Kate in Paradise and welcome to the kitchen. I'm so excited that you're here to share this amazing, delicious quinoa salad recipe with you. I'm really excited about this recipe. It's so easy to make. It's delicious, full of flavor, and everybody loves it. It's great for almost any occasion. You can bring it to parties, potlucks, barbecues. It makes a great side dish. I literally love to eat this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It keeps really well in the fridge so you can make a big batch and have it all week long, full of healthy, nutritious veggies. It's really light and refreshing on a hot summer day. I'm super excited to share it with you. We are cooking on the beautiful island of Kauai today, and you are in the right place if you wanna learn how to make food that makes you feel amazing on the inside, look beautiful on the outside, and make a difference on this planet. I wanna introduce you to someone very special today, my guest producer who is helping me behind the scenes, the beautiful Cambria is here to help me and we're gonna teach you how to make a delicious recipe that the whole family loves. Hi, so what are the ingredients to the salad? So Cambria, the ingredients are quinoa and we also got some fresh ingredients from the farmer's market. Get baby carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, we have some fresh mint, fresh cilantro. We're gonna be using a lime to flavor it. You can also use lemon and some cumin. And then we have these delicious dried cranberries. And we're gonna be using some olive oil. And our little Hawaiian twist for this recipe today is we're gonna be using mac nuts. In the recipe, you can also use sliced almonds. For the full recipe, look in the description below. So Cambria, are you ready to get started and show them how to make this delicious recipe? Yes. So the first step in making this delicious quinoa salad recipe is to cook our quinoa. You can cook your quinoa in water or vegetable broth or bone broth. What I like to do is get the water boiling, then I add the quinoa and just leave the lid off and let it come to a complete boil, then turn it down to a simmer, and you're just gonna let it sit here until all the water's absorbed. So it's gonna take about 20 or 30 minutes, and while the quinoa is cooking, we can start cutting our veggies. So while our quinoa is cooking, we're going to slice up all of our veggies. We're gonna use one cucumber for this recipe, and I like to cut it pretty small. So what I normally do is just cut off the ends and then kind of slice down. Some of the skin you just can be hard and crunchy so you don't really want that. I like to cut the cucumber into pretty small bites. So everything you wanna cut into pretty much like little centimeter bites so that it's just gonna be easy to mix into the salad. So let's chop up these veggies. cutting is the tomatoes. And the really important part with the tomatoes is that we hole out the center so that we cut out all the seeds 
and all the soft part inside, we're basically just using this nice firm outer shell of our tomato. So that's how you wanna slice up your tomatoes is just get rid of the centers and start slicing up the outsides. Fresh mint. Mm. So the next thing that we're gonna slice up is the fresh mint and the cilantro. So it's good to just wash it. And then we're just gonna chop it up into little pieces for our salad. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our carrots and we're actually gonna grate them with a cheese grater so that they're nice and fine. And this is gonna be perfect for our salad. Once the quinoa is done, we're just gonna fluff it with a fork and take it off the heat. You want it to be nice and fluffy, just like this. Make sure that everything is chopped really fine so that it's perfect bite-sized pieces for our salad. So now that we've chopped up all our veggies and our quinoa is all cooked, we're ready to put everything together. What I like to do is I like to take the quinoa and put it in the fridge and just chill it because we want it to be nice and cold. And then you can just basically add everything in a big bowl and put it all together. So once you get everything in the bowl, we're gonna season with a little bit of cumin. So you can kind of sprinkle it throughout. What I do is like sprinkle a little bit and then mix it all together and then sprinkle a little bit more. Just kind of do it to taste. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. So just give it a little bit of healthy fats. And then I'm squeezing a little bit of lime juice on as well, just to give it a little bit of that citrusy flavor. You can also use lemon juice. You can be creative with this recipe. It's such an easy recipe, and I love that it's full of fresh ingredients. Shop locally, go to your farmer's market, see what they have. You can always switch certain things out. I'll give a lot of suggestions for you in the comments below. But really the idea is to try to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables that are grown locally in your area, and I found almost all these ingredients at the local farmer's market grown freshly here. So there's always things that you can buy that are grown locally in your environment as well. So is it time to eat? It is time to eat, Cambria, so let's try this recipe. Now that we've finished our delicious fresh salad, you can keep it in the fridge for up to a week, you can bring it to your favorite potluck or your favorite party, Everyone in your whole family is gonna love it. It's so flavorful. I love it because it has all six tastes. So it's super delicious and super healthy. I wanna do a special thank you to my beautiful friends, Yoshi and Kai, for letting me cook in their kitchen for this episode of Cooking in Paradise. If you like these recipes, leave a comment below, like my channel, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recipes that make you feel so good on the inside, look beautiful on the outside, and help save our planet. This is Kate with Kate in Paradise. See you next time. Aloha.